Okay, so let's try an example with uh, two solutions. Um, so they say if V1 equals 10 cc's, and remember from our previous sections that cc's, uh, one, just to, to review, one cc is the same as one milliliter. So if you, if you see that, you'll see that in a few of these problems. And as we go into chapter five um, and talk about syringes and things, um, you'll see cc's a lot instead of milliliters, but they are, one cc is the same as one milliliter. Um, all right, so if you have the volume of your, V1 is the volume of your uh, solution before it's diluted, is 10 cc's. V2 is the volume of the solution after it's diluted, so 20 cc's. And C1 is 15%. So what was C1 again? Well, C is for concentrate, and the 1 tells us that it is before we dilute it. They want us to find C2, which is the concentration after it's been diluted. So we really could, you know, can just take advantage of this, this formula that we have. And it's exploiting this idea that the amount of, um, of our substance doesn't change. The percent might change, the volume may change, but as we dilute it, we're just watering, literally watering down the amount of the original substance we have. So we're going to go ahead and use this formula. Um, so the volume of the first solution, uh, the, our solution before we dilute it, times the, times the concentrate will give us the amount uh, of the substance. And then that should be equal, we should have the same amount if we take the volume of the second substance and multiply it by the volume of, or excuse me, the concentrate of the diluted substance. So, uh, V1, C1 equals V2, C2. You don't have to memorize the formula. As long as you understand what's going on, that you should have the same amount regardless. And to find the amount, we just multiply the percent times the volume. So, so we take 10 cc's and we multiply that by 15% should equal... Well, they gave us the volume, 20 cc's, and we multiply by, we don't know C2, so we're just going to write C2. You could use another variable if you want, but uh, this should work. So I'm going to, I need to get the C2 by itself, so I'm just going to divide on both sides by 20 cc's. Okay, there we go, it's solved. Now I just have to simplify this. So units, again, cancel, can cancel out just like anything else. And um, we can reduce this fraction if you'd like. This becomes a two down here. So what we have is 15% divided by two. Uh, 15 divided by two gives me seven and a half. And I still have the percent hanging out. It didn't cancel out with anything. And there we go, seven and a half percent. And so what this tells me is that the concentration of my solution after it's diluted is now seven and a half percent.